Hey, what's going on there, friends? My name is M. Chantagrates, and welcome to Metroid Zero Mission for the Game Boy Advance. This is the second Metroid LP that I am doing, whereas the first time I did Super Metroid. And here we are, playing uh, this game. Um, that's a spoiler. I uh, cannot, I cannot uh, show that off. Uh, so as you can see, I have uh, played through a little bit of this game. Um, so this will be semi-blind. Um, I've been wanting to do an LP of, uh, another Metroid game, uh, ever since Super Metroid. Um, but, uh, uh I wasn't sure which one I wanted to, I wanted to get into, but then I got into this game. Uh, so, here we are. Let's go ahead and start a new game here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick, a normal setting. Not easy mode. Easy mode's for scrubs. I'm not a scrub. I'm a man. Um, there is a difficult mode as well, but um, the difficult mode is only obtainable when you beat the game. Uh, Planet Zebes, I called this place home once. In peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below, now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here. My so-called Zero Mission by Samus Iran. And we start off all the way down to our starting position here. So let's go ahead and uh, start. Okay, so we're off the bat. We got our first item. We got a morph ball. Let's go! All right, so um, the uh, morph ball allows you to um, turn to a ball like this. Cool. All right, so uh, what's say about what, what's say about Metroid Zero Mission? This is uh, the uh, excuse me. Uh, this game is a remake of the first Metroid game, which is a Metroid game that I have never played. Obviously, because I have not played many Metroid games prior to this game. I've only played one. Um, and um, uh, this is also um, this also like follows up with like well uh, well no never mind never mind shut up I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna shut up about that. that that's some wrong information I'm not gonna talk about wrong information but um uh, but yeah this is zero mission and uh, what got me into this game in particular is um, that uh, uh, the past. Um, the most recent SGDQ that, uh, that happened, uh, there was a four-player Metroid Zero Mission race. Uh, I tuned in to watch it live, and holy crap, the, that race was so amazing. And uh, the, ga the gameplay looked really fun, and I figured I might as well uh, give, give, it, give it a try uh, to see if I could uh, match that. But obviously, as you're seeing right now, I am uh, not very good at this game, but I will try my best. Uh, to be the best that I can at, 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 at this game, at this video game. Um, so, yeah. Um, although, uh, I have played through a little bit of Fusion before this. Uh, I, have not I have not beaten Fusion. Uh, I would like to, because Fusion's also a pretty good game. Uh, but I decided to play Zero Mission, because uh, Zero Mission seems pretty fun right now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so here we are playing uh, Zero Mission. Um, so, in Zero Mission, um, it is, um, of course, it is, the controls are much different from Super Metroid, um, because, obviously, this is on a Game Boy Advance and not on a Super Nintendo, where you have access to, um, basically, uh, four, all, um, four face buttons. Game Boy Advance only has two face buttons. Um, we'll be back here later. Uh, that's, uh, a little, uh, foreshadow as to what we have to do in the game, right? Uh, but yeah, um, we have to see. So yeah, in, in this game, uh, there are. Um, oh, okay, good. Uh, that 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 enemy that enemy's mean. It does a lot of damage. Uh, so if you don't if you don't kill him quickly, you'll get wrecked. Uh, but anyway, um, but yeah, it's on a Game Boy Advance, so the controls are more 
uh, fluent um, and rather than complex, because uh, uh, Super Metroid's control scheme is very complex, so it takes a lot of practice for you to get really good at Super Metroid's control schemes. Um, but uh, this game is a little bit more simple uh, than, than, than that, um, which um, you know some people prefer more, uh, which uh, is uh, understandable. Uh, that is uh, not where I'm supposed to go. Uh, so yeah. Um, so. Um, as a result, uh, you, you cannot aim down, uh, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so the only way to aim down is when you're moving, uh, which is kind of what I don't like, because um, I would prefer to aim down while I'm static, um, so I can aim down easier, but uh, that's unfortunately not the case. Uh, so, there we go. Um, so we just got our first missile pack. Uh, and the missile pack is stronger than our default weapon uh, for right now. And in fact, we're gonna be using missiles right away. We guys wrapped up. We got our first boss fight. Whoa! All right, this guy's really easy. All you have to do is, is uh, shoot is shoot missiles at, at, at this guy. Um, nothing nothing terribly difficult, I hope. Uh, oh! Oh boy! All right, all right, hit him. Yes! All right, we need to hit him one more time. Oh, he's coming down. He's coming up fast. Yes, I beat him. All right, let's go. All right. Very nice. All right, and our reward is a charge beam. So actually, you want actually um, you want to beat him fast because if you beat him because if you beat him fast, he dies. Uh, if you take too long in the fight, then he will actually run away, uh, which is not good. Uh, but it's not the end of the world if he runs away because you can actually fight him in a in a different room uh, later on. Uh, that way, you have uh, an infinite uh, amount of time to beat him uh, then. Um, uh, but uh, it's nice to beat him early because um, our reward for beating him is uh, a charge beam. Uh, which the charge beam allows us to um, uh, charge while you're shooting, um, like uh, this. And also another thing that you can do is you can do a move called the uh, pseudo screw attack. Um, and um, the uh, pseudo screw attack allows you to uh, jump while you're charging, and it actually does damage to enemies if you jump into an enemy, uh, which is really cool. Um, I will show that off uh, uh, later, uh, not right now. Um, but uh, but it's a pretty nice little technique that you can they could utilize, which is nice. Um, all right, so this is the room right here where you can fight that uh, worm-looking guy uh, if you have not uh, beaten beaten him yet. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, but because I already did that, I don't have to worry about that. All right, so um, using uh, your sub weapons like your missile packs is uh, different uh, because um, this time you have to actually uh, hold a button while you're shooting in order to use your missiles. Um, so that's something I gotta get used to because in Super Metroid you can all you could always because in Super Metroid you just you know you can equip the item and then you can use and then you can use missiles, uh, but that's obviously not so much the case here. Um, so we got a few items uh, while I was talking. Uh, we got the uh, long beam, uh, which, as you know, the default weapon does not go very far. So you're kind of in trouble if uh, you don't have um, if you don't have the long beam. Um, all, the uh, long beam allows you to shoot across, across basically across the whole screen, which is nice. Uh, now we got bombs, and with bombs, you can you, you can um, it's basically your weapon of choice when you have uh, when when you are in morph ball form. And right off the bat, we are going to be using bombs in order to get this missile pack. Very nice. All right. Um, anytime that you run into a Chozo statue like this, you can actually uh, morph ball into them, so that way you could heal yourself um, fully, all health, all ammunition, which is nice. And knowing my luck. I will probably need it because I am not very good at this game. Um, please kill, please kill these things. There we go. All right, those bugs can be annoying, uh, but uh, thankfully we got through them just fine. All right, uh, let's see. 100% um, is is of course per usual. Um, in in Metroid games, there is a very clear definition as to what's considered 100%. Uh, so we will be uh, getting all the items in the game. Um, obviously, since this is a semi-blind playthrough, I don't know where every item is, so I will need help um, if uh, whenever it's possible. So 
so feel free to leave in the comments if you have some decent knowledge of the game. Feel free to leave in the comments below uh, if I have missed something, and I will be sure to get to uh, to go back to them where, whenever it is convenient. Alright, um, here's uh, one thing that I do know how to get. Um, go ahead and, uh, oh, that's that's not how you do it. Alright. Uh, so another thing that bom that bombs can can do is uh, if you are really good, you can utilize something called a bomb jump, where uh, if you um, are more falling, in, or if you use the morph ball in place and you bom and you rhythmically press the uh, bombs button, then uh, you can actually uh, gain height. Um, you can actually get yeah, you'll you'll basically boost upwards and you'll repeatedly gain height if you have a certain rhythm with your uh, with bombs. Um, and that's something that a lot of casual players seem to be re really good at, but I'm not good at it at all. Uh, and uh, that's a, a very hard technique to, to use. Um, but um, once, you, but it is a it is a sequence break. The game, there, the game, there's never a point in the game where you where you'll need to do that. Um, but uh, it's really nice to to utilize it that way. Um, you can uh, get items early like this. Um, hopefully I can uh, hopefully I can get this. Um, you can also mash and pray that you get up there. Uh, but uh, obviously as you can see it's it's uh, not very reliable. Um, but uh, it seems to be working at halfway. Uh, oh there we go. Oh yeah, let's go. Alright, so that that so obviously you, you do need you do need a certain item that allows you to get that easier. Uh, but um since I got it, since I got that now, I don't have to worry about going back to get that later. Uh, but yeah, that's a, a very painful. Uh, otherwise, it's painful because you got a bomb jump. But yeah, if you have a certain rhythm to bomb jumping, then it's it's not hard. Um, and you can and you can open yourself up to a lot of sequence breaks. And that's what usually what I like about that's that's what I like about um, uh, these type of games where uh, the game starts to get pretty non-linear as soon as you know how to sequence break and get stuff earlier than you're supposed to. Um, and, um, yeah, um, uh, let's see, what else, what else is there that I would like to talk about? Um, uh, another thing that, uh, uh, that this game brought back is wall jumping, and, uh, when you wall jump, you can, um, you can wall jump off of the same, oh, you can single wall jump in this game, in Fusion you can't. Uh, they nerfed it because I guess they realized well, when they uh, when they um, uh, when when uh, super Met when uh, super Met when people were sequence breaking in Super Metroid they realized how powerful it is so they decided to nerf it but uh, they brought it back in this game but uh, single wall jumping is pretty hard in this game uh, I'm probably just saying that because I'm bad but uh, yeah um so um in that cutscene that didn't that not look good um. Looks like uh, whatever that thing is, it knows that we're here, and uh, probably bad stuff is gonna happen soon, which is not good. All right, so here we are in Norfair. Um, Norfair is um, your uh, fiery place. Um, let me see if I can. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Come on. Uh, uh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! All right, all right, hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh, that took a lot longer than than, than, than I was supposed to. Uh, but uh, <laughs> oh boy, um, I just realized I may be missing some items right off the bat, and that's not good. But uh, oh well, I'm gonna keep going. And I, and if and if I and I have missed an item, then I'm, I can just uh, go. I can just go back and uh, and get them again. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah. So obviously, you're supposed to have an item that uh, would make you get that easier again, but the reason I'm doing all these like little fancy dancy tricks is is because um, um, uh, this game has an in-game timer like a lot of Metro games to uh, me Metro games do and uh, if you beat the game as as uh, if you beat the game fast enough you get um, you get a pretty good ending and I want to try and get that um, in Super Metroid, if you beat the uh, game in under three hours, then uh, you get uh, the 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 quote unquote best ending. 
Uh, I'm not really sure what the requirement is for this game. If I don't get the best ending for this game, that's okay. Um, but I would like to achieve the the, the uh, best ending because uh, that would be um, that would be more, very uh, satisfying. Um, also, I feel like I may not have be, may not be missing uh, items that I thought that, that I thought I am missing. Oh, okay, that's 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 good to know. All right, so we just got a unknown item. Uh, I'm not sure what that means, um, but um, that's something to be looked at way later on. Uh, so yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal up because I did take quite a bit of damage. Um, but uh, we're probably not in concern of dying. Um, by the way, dying is uh, um, pretty bad in Metroid games usually. Uh, because if you die in a Metroid game, then that's it. That is the run. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we don't run into some bad stuff uh, later on. Um, although since it is 100%, we will be getting a lot of health, uh, which means dying should not be too much of a concern. I feel like, but uh, you never know. All right. Uh, what the heck? All right, hold on. What 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 is what is what is this? All right. Uh, oh, okay. There we go. All right. Head up here. And uh, what? Oh man, that was cheating. All right. All right. Okay. There we go. All right. And with that, we get the power grip. Uh, so, uh, the power grip allows you to uh, hang on to let to let you can ledge grab like that, which is cool. Uh, there's also another thing that you can do with the with the um, power grip later on. Um, and it is uh, supposedly it, well, it is required. Uh, so, so, yeah, so you can uh, ledge climb onto these uh, onto these ledges here, um, where otherwise you wouldn't be able to. Wow, I have to all the way down. I am good. I am so good. All right, head up here. Head up here. All right, nice, 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 nice. All right. And um, now we gotta, now we gotta make our way uh, through this little mess right here. There we go. Okay. All right. So uh, here we are uh, out here. This is uh, actually our ship. Um, you can, any, if you can actually refill out your ship. And, and, and it refills all your health and ammunition, but obviously since I have all 40 missiles and all my health, I don't need to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue off of this path and back down to Norfair. Okay, uh, so um, this is a fairly short game, um, so uh, hopefully this LP won't 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 take that long. Uh, although it may, although it might, uh, considering um, I'm not gonna go for I'm not gonna go for too many crazy stuff. Um, there is some really crazy stuff that I that I see. What the heck? How did I not go down? There is some crazy stuff that I do see uh, from watching speedruns of this game. Uh, I am not I am not fancy like that, so you won't be seeing any, any of that from me. All right. Um, although it is a very, it, although it is a very good game. So yeah. Um, okay. So now we gotta make our way back. Uh, and uh, kill all, kill all these enemies here. All right, there we go. All right. Yeah. Then we, then we gotta make our way back. All right. Um, let's go ahead and uh, head up here. Shoot this down. Uh, kill those guys. Uh, so there's two main bosses that we have to fight. Uh, in a Super Metroid, you have to fight four, but now it's two, uh, and uh, we gotta fight those two bosses soon. Hey, we got a save room. And eh, you know what? While I'm here, I guess I might as well save. Um, because it doesn't hurt to save. Uh, you know that way, if uh, if I die, then uh, then the run is saved. Although this is not a, a run, well, it's a it's a casual run, not a a speed run. I'm not fast, like uh, some people are. Uh, 
King J is, is not fast. That's uh, an example of somebody who's also not fast. He's slow. He's always slow. Always slow. I'm telling you that right now. Alright. Yeah, go ahead and head, head up here, uh, over here in this room. And, uh, okay, this, uh, this room I remember, uh, causing troubles. Alright, alright, we're gonna kill that guy. Head up here. Oh, no, that's not good. Alright, hold on. Alright, there we go. Alright. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. 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 Yes, okay, we made it. Alright, that was, a that, that was a very tough room. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Very nice. And with that, we get the Ice Beam. And uh, with the ice beam, you can uh, freeze enemies, and you can actually use um, the enemy, the enemies as um, uh, uh, solid uh, platforms, so you can they they can land on uh, for uh, wait what? Uh, oh okay, that was that was that was a little weird right there. I thought uh, thought bad stuff happened. Uh, so you can uh, you can freeze that little ripper right there, and then you can head on to this next to this next door. But I will do that in the next episode. So. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Metroid Zero Mission. And in the next part, we are going to uh, see what is through that door uh, on my semi-blind playthrough because I have no idea. Um, I have not I have not finished this game, so I don't know what's what's up ahead of me. Uh, so, see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye.